Hello and welcome to Elite Weather Forecasting. My name is Dooley Godot, your meteorologist this afternoon, and this is the first alert weather forecast as we cover the severe weather expected to explode across the Southern Plains as well as the Mississippi Valley, Louisiana into Mississippi. Could see some very strong to severe thunderstorms. It could be a very active afternoon and evening out there, especially later this evening after 5 p.m. and into the overnight hours is we're going to see a lot of nocturnal storms out there and we could see uh, quite a few large tornadoes possible some definitely a hail it's going to be some gorilla hail out there today we're talking hailstones two inches in diameter or larger some cars is definitely going to be damaged in these storms so and we we talking uh damaging winds winds in excess of 75 miles per hour it's certainly possible out there this afternoon flooding especially in parts of louisiana mississippi northern uh southern arkansas could see some excessive rainfall as that storm is going to take on more of a a, a, a quasi linear convective system a qlcs is going to develop uh, later on this evening and into the overnight hours as those storms are going to be uh, individual uh, uh, discrete supercells initially but will organize themselves into multicellular and quasi-linear some broken lines of severe storms so they're going to change that's when you're going to start to really see that damaging wind component in those torrential downpours as you get those linear thunderstorms develop to take shape after the initial development of individualized discrete supercells so this discrete cell period was when we'll see the most uh, possibility for tornadoes but once you get later and the storms mature a little bit and they become linear and you get that convective system then you'll start to see that damaging wind and torrential rainfall it's going to be kind of a, a progression of uh, idio idiocracies out there so we're going to see that wild weather really take shape and I'm going to be here with you through it all I'm going to make broadcasts as things unfold. I'm going to keep an eye on it. It's not very busy right now. We do have those storms that are developing around the Oklahoma City area between Oklahoma City and Dallas. We are seeing them come out of northwest Texas right now. So some storms are developing, but that's not the real show. That's just some preliminary stuff. So right now, let's take a look at the current conditions in the area on the radar. Here's a look at your radar across the Oklahoma and Texas area. We're looking at Oklahoma City to our north. We got Dallas to the south right here. Here's that first area of showers and thunderstorms that have developed earlier in the afternoon today near Ida and Tulsa. Those storms are going to be moving just south of the Tulsa area. Here's Fort Smith, Arkansas. We're going to see in those storms move out toward that direction. Strong thunderstorms right now. Nothing severe. I don't see any severe weather warnings posted at this time, but we do have strong thunderstorms across eastern Oklahoma. We do have some storms forming down here in North Texas, Odessa, Midland, Haskell, Wichita Falls. We're going to start to see in some of those stronger thunderstorms take place, make their way to the east northeast at about 25 to 30 miles per hour. And here we are by, by the Dallas area, a few showers in your area right now, but not severe with that energy, of course. So I will keep track of the storms this evening and this afternoon and let you know what's happening. And if it looks pretty hairy, I'll jump on here and do a live broadcast of the severe weather in the second place. So in the meantime, let's take a look at the analysis and the forecast for this severe weather event this afternoon. And here we are continuing your first alert weather forecast for this afternoon and evening with the severe weather down across the Southern Plains and the Mississippi Valley. And here we're going to see that severe weather threat continue. And here is our setup and the risk for this afternoon and evening. We do have a lot of lift out there. The lifting is extreme because we do have a potent weather system, a low pressure center over Oklahoma and Texas with a strong uh 
uh, a quasi stationary front drift across the area uh, east to west orientation across the southeast that is kind of going out over the Gulf of Mexico and it's helping to funnel that moisture into this storm system and into the southern plains and the southeast this afternoon. We have a uh, high instability out there because of a uh, pool of cold air aloft that's going to help to draw up that warm air from the surface and we get those mid level to being unstable and get that air to rise. So we could see some elevated thunderstorms in Texas and Oklahoma as well. We could see some more elevated activity there. It is going to help to generate those big hailstones this afternoon and evening. We'll see that more so over the Texas and Oklahoma side is where I expect to see the giant hailstones. So we got some gorilla hail expected to form, especially over the western edge of this uh, weather, this severe weather event. We have moderate shear out there. We do have that area of low pressure, so it does uh, uh, instigate some twisting in the atmosphere with altitude so the air is twisting with height but it's not the strongest shear i've seen so we're going with moderate threat for shearing out there but the tornado risk is moderate because i think the big threat to this is going to be hail and damaging winds especially once this storm takes on quasi-linear characteristics characteristics because we'll, we'll see that QLCS develop especially over Louisiana and northeastern Texas far northeastern Texas Louisiana into Arkansas we'll see that QLCS develop that's where we'll really start to see those straight line winds that very heavy rainfall and maybe some medium-sized hail but hail will be a big part of the storm I think hail is going to be the biggest threat and if you're in Oklahoma and Texas today Expect to see some damage to cars out there and some roofs and trees and other things like that because some of the hailstones could be two to three inches in diameter. The hail threat is real, so please be careful with that. But we can see some long track tornadoes as well, some good F2 tornadoes or better. So we could see some long track powerful tornadoes especially later in the evening as you get into Louisiana and Mississippi is when that tornado threat I really think is going to take shape more on the southern edge of this uh, weather event has, that's, take, that's coming together this afternoon and evening. So the hail more over the northwestern side, the tornadoes on the south and east, we'll see the tornadoes over the southern Louisiana and Texas as well. So east Texas, Beaumont North, over into Louisiana and Mississippi could see that threat for tornadoes this afternoon coming right off of the Gulf of Mexico. And that wind threat we'll really see when that linear part of the storm takes shape later on this evening and into the overnight hours is when you can see those damaging winds with winds in excess of 74 miles per hour it's certainly possible with this storm system and here we are with the look at the uh, storm prediction center a uh, categorical outlook and we do see that enhanced risk of severe weather this afternoon from texas from dallas east into louisiana northern louisiana shreveport baton rouge you can see that severe weather into Mississippi. So if you're in East Central, West Central Mississippi as well, you see that enhanced risk of severe weather where the biggest threat in that risk area there is going to be the large hail and damaging winds. And then we have a slight risk more to West Texas from the Dallas, Fort, from Fort Worth West to about Del Rio, Texas, we'll see that um, at Sanderson, Texas, Alpine, Texas, you will see that potential there for a slight risk, which means that you're going to have more scattered severe weather as well. So you're going to see that large hail, maybe some tornadoes as well, damaging wind and torrential rainfall. And then it's a moderate risk into Alabama and central, eastern, central, in eastern Mississippi, central Arkansas, central Oklahoma, west central Texas, southwest central Texas, southeastern Texas can see, and also southern Louisiana can see that marginal risk of severe weather as well. That means you have isolated severe, but all threats are present as well, even in the marginal risk 
The rest of the area is going to see general non-severe thunderstorms, but a rogue severe thunderstorm is always possible even when you have pulse thunderstorms. We'll also see some general thunderstorms, maybe a marginal risk of severe thunderstorms down in South Florida, Miami-Dade, Fort Lauderdale, the West Palm Beaches, Fort Myers, Naples are all at risk of a reach of a, um, a marginal risk of, of severe weather this afternoon down across South Florida as well. Your threat will be large hail and damaging winds, of course. And then we'll also see some thunderstorms in the Pacific Northwest that potentially exist with some non-severe thunderstorms up in the mountains of Montana, the high plains of Montana, northwestern Wyoming, central Idaho, most of the state of Washington, northwestern Oregon and northeastern Oregon can see some isolated thunderstorms this afternoon and evening as well, but that will be non-severe. Also, Minnesota and South Dakota has the potential for some thunderstorms in western Minnesota, northeastern South Dakota, southeastern uh, North Dakota as well. There is a small area where some thunderstorms could develop this afternoon. And here's a look at your Tuesday. We'll see those threat thunderstorms extend over much of the eastern seaboard. So from the mid-Atlantic across into the upper Midwest, into Minnesota and Wisconsin, could see general thunderstorms. Iowa, Illinois, Indiana, Southern Ohio, West Virginia, Virginia, North Carolina. Uh, Kentucky, Tennessee, Arkansas, northeastern Oklahoma, eastern Kansas, Missouri, Iowa, all can see general thunderstorms. There is a marginal risk of thunderstorms across central Missouri, St. Louis. You are in that threat area for a marginal severe thunderstorm as well, that marginal risk. We have that enhanced risk across the deep south, uh, central uh, Georgia, uh, South Carolina, Southern uh, Alabama, Southern Mississippi as well. New Orleans also is also in that area, just on the edge of that enhanced risk of severe weather. We will see that slight risk extend from Southern North Carolina, Central South Carolina, North Georgia, Northern Mississippi and Alabama. Um, Louisiana is gonna spin, uh, Southern Louisiana. Um, the Florida Panhandle can also see that Slight, slight risk of severe weather, and then there's a marginal risk for severe weather for the uh, east coast of Florida. So Deerfield Beach, Jacksonville, um, if you're in Clearwater, you could see um, that marginal risk for severe weather. And even with any of this, please be aware for tornadoes, be watchful for long track tornadoes, large hail, damaging winds with winds in excess of 60 miles per hour, one inch diameter hail, and heavy torrential rains. So flash flooding is always something that you want to keep mindful of. If it, the road looks flooded, turn around, don't drown. So if you if it don't look, if the water's running, you see it flowing and rushing, turn around, don't go across it because you a vehicle can get swept away just four inches of water. A vehicle can start floating and you can lose traction with the roadway. So, and especially if it has a strong current behind. So that is a look at the uh, the severe storm prediction center analysis. Here is a look at the forecast. So we see that storm system that's going to spread across the upper Midwest. You got that frontal boundary coming into North Texas and Oklahoma. It's going to make its way to the east. And then here's what we're going to have for your for your Tuesday. And across Tuesday, that frontal boundary sort of stationary there across the upper Midwest, the upper Mississippi Valley, down into Oklahoma and North Texas. You do see that stationary front curve off to the west there. But that area of low pressure down there on the Louisiana and Texas border, right there at your triple point, Louisiana, Texas, and Arkansas. That's going to spread that severe weather on east toward the Atlantic seaboard in Florida. You can see that potential for severe weather as well. So that is, here's a look at the GFS for the next couple of weeks. A quick glance as you look at the pattern, you see these fast moving, fast moving weather systems, but we do have a, a Hey, uh, we don't have a linked up jet stream yet, so I don't see any overtly super strong storms 
to develop, but we will see strong instances of severe weather. Thunderstorms will begin to uh, make its way into the upper Midwest. The Great Lakes area, the Northeast, is going to start seeing issues with severe weather as well as we move on through the month. This is going to take us through pretty much the end of the month of about mid-April. We're looking at about the 20th of April. This goes out through. And this is just, I just want you to take a look and look at the pattern and how the storm directions are going. See how they're moving very fast east to west. We're going to have those quick hitting storm systems, but some of them can be quite strong. You're going to see that severe weather instances and still there's the potential for some snowstorms out there even as we move through the month of April. If you can see up in the northern tier of the Great Lakes and the upper Midwest, Minnesota, Wisconsin may have several opportunities to pick up some more snow before we get into the month of May. So that is a look at the, here we are with the severe threat for uh, Texas, Louisiana, and Mississippi for today. We are at an elevated five for your severe threat today. And here we are. Here's your first alert. Thank you for being with me today as we take a look at what's going on. And let's take another look outside at Dallas, Texas and see what's going on there. And here we are looking at the beautiful city of Dallas. I love Dallas. Uh, I used to live in the Dallas, in Dallas a few year, uh, some years back, but as you can see those clouds out there today, right now, as those storm clouds are beginning to gather, and we're going to see that severe weather form this afternoon and make for a very rough evening uh, tonight and into your Tuesday. Tuesday again, this is going to repeat, and we're going to see that severe weather again. So to remember, those long track F2 tornadoes are stronger very large hail, three inch diameter hail, damaging winds in excess of 74, 75 miles per hour, and that heavy rainfall can cause some flash flooding. So please be careful, pay attention to your local TV and radio stations, uh, make sure you get yourself a NOAA no weather radio, they save lives, and pay attention to what's going on around you today. And thanks for following with me today. Um, please hit that like button. Leave your comments about your what you think. Um, if you're in the Dallas, Texas area, or if you're in that severe weather warned or uh, warned area today, you know what's your thoughts about that, and what do you have to be prepared with? So, um, thanks for watching. I'll be back later with updates as things unfold this evening. Please hit that like. Leave your comments. Hit that subscribe button. All right. Thank you and have a good day.